In this video, I play the Marder 183 in War Thunder. Hope you guys enjoy this intro with a flat spin and a dogfight, but then win. That's a, a big old heavy boy, dude. I somehow survived that. You wait there. Right. all time in this. Ah crap, we are definitely gonna die now, right? Right, it's 50 cows out. Teammate got him, and then the other T29 got us. God, that Milan is insanely slow now, right? There's six tanks coming out of spawn. That was a one. Another one burned to death. That's I'm doomed. Oh my goodness, hey. An SU9. Uh -huh. Just hang on to his bombs too. He's got a lot more power than I do. Don't you, Chief? Ah, uh, we're flat spinning. Those are flaps. Come on. Down you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. You may get another shot on us. No, you will get another shot on us, not might. You definitely will. Base flaps again, and they may be dead, actually. <laughs> oh, he's good, he's good. Two, two chunk pistols having a dogfight in jets. Okay. It's gonna cause him problems. And he's dead, good. Hiya, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Marder 1A3. This was just added in Operation Direction uh, and it's basically the exact same as the other Marder with just like three tiny wee changes. First of all, the biggest change is probably Thermal Vision. Uh, second of all, it gets DM63 rounds, which are unfortunately not the almost 600mm pen rounds at top tier. These are 20mm APDS rounds. Now, they look good on paper, right? But in practice, not so great. It's still better than this though. The last change, probably the saddest one, is that the the butt machine gun, it totally gone. It doesn't exist on this one. It's just a clean cut IFV that's not as good as a Bradley or a Warrior or probably even the other murder. Now, those of you who have seen it, I've got a nook in this murder before. And then I did another video where I really enjoyed this thing. It was really good. And then they made a really important change to something. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, which is the major point of this video. Um, this thing being AO is pretty strange. I think it's at a fair BR, but I've hated playing it today. It was just not enjoyable to play at all. Definitely not as enjoyable as this thing. But the reason I enjoyed this thing so much is because it's 7.3. It's such a low BR. It does really well against the US tank destroyers, light like tanks that get thrown at you. And of course, you've got the Milan, the mobility. You can shoot down planes and stuff. All things that this thing can do except that it can't and the reason for that is Milan's got a really big change as you saw in the intro they're very sluggish to actually leave the tube which I suppose is realistic but their control is very lethargic it's super hard to actually get something on target when you're close to an enemy uh, but, and even worse they're really slow now you can easily drive out the way of them and of course shoot them down they're it made such a huge difference to this tank, uh, like ridiculously so. Now I need to state and really drive it home that it's not a bad tank, it just gets really outclassed now by things like the BMP2, the BMP2M, which it does face. The Bradley, the Warrior, it is kind of placeless against those things, uh, other light tanks, the BMD4 as well, and of course uh, yesterday's video, oh my god, this thing, uh, 7.3. Even though this doesn't get an ATGM, I would still take this thing out at AO over this guy at 8.0. But playing this thing kind of surfaced two glaringly obvious problems of very under-tiered uh, IFVs or AFVs and the, the difference between 8.0 vehicles and even 8.7 vehicles, never mind 9.0 vehicles, is just ridiculous. Like, they, they're just so far apart from each other, like, technology-wise that from 8.0 to 7.0 is exactly the same. This thing bullies 7.0s, right? But it gets bullied itself at 9.0. I 
I think the decompression is the word people keep using. It's getting worse and worse every patch. Anyway, uh, I had, well, I obviously had to get the modifications for this thing. I played like 20 games. I got four fun ones, I would say, and the rest it was just like um, either die on purpose because it's a map I don't like, or I got two or three kills, maybe, um, lots of assists, but the games were pretty boring. You can't drive out on this thing in the open ground, you'll be absolutely slaughtered. The Milan's not quick enough to react to enemies like that, so it's kind of a boring tank to play. Very defensive, uh, and not very much ammo. Four missiles, so a very certain playstyle to play, although the two games I'm going to show you were actually pretty fun. Hey, let's get into those games. Right, cargo port, what have we got in store for us? I'm not, this is AO. France, eh, uh, France, that, that Japanese RCV thing is going to give us problems. That RCV is much better than this guy. And it's 7-3. I think, eh, uh, Gaijin employ a monkey to throw darts at a dartboard to determine vehicle BRs. Listen to the, those. I mean, it's more of a joke than anything because they're actually not making any sound. At all. I don't think that's normal. Someone dropping out of here, that's unusual. We'll get out of there. I want to be in a spot where I can shoot over stuff and not get shot at myself, really. There goes an RCV. A Leo, a Leo kill one. There's another RCV. I heard him. It was this. It was this track noise, though. I heard. There's another one. That was a a poop yourself moment right there. Where's, where's the other one? Oh, that, that's a firebrand I'm hearing. The same sort of noise as the tracks on concrete. Right, there goes our RCV over there. Right, what is our plan now? God knows. I barely heard that thing. A chica. He's doing chica things. So far, I'm not very impressed with this guy. Oh, we got a. What is that? A BMP coming? It can't be a BMP too. Luckily. That is. Not a lot of damage, is it? I don't know if I should drop my artillery on him. That was good. We'll take that. Is that T-44 coming for me? Yes. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Right, BMP. What are you doing, friendo? <laughs> he's shooting the side of the walls there. Oh, there his teammates, I think. Right, I've got this idea, right? We've got a lot of dead space in the back of our tank. But if he tracks me, I'm in trouble. Where are you going? You're annoying. 
I can see your exhaust smoke. There's an RCV coming my way. Adam, are you going to fire your missile at me now? Right, that's his gunner at least. I, I need to fire my ATGM at this guy. Mark that one back there and then we're falling back. What were you? An SU-100. He got his engine, unfortunately, and that's it. My, my Artie's almost back. Where the hell did this RCV go? I can definitely kill this guy with Artie. I don't want to drive out in front of him. Did that RCV come for me yet? No, I don't know. Did he die? I wasn't paying attention very much. That artillery will kill that guy. Come on. We need to just hope that it does. So I can move. I haven't had an ace in this thing yet. I would very much like one. That guy is behind me. I got undamaged. There he goes. Right, we're chase this guy now. That thing is pure evil. Pure evil. Right, good. This, do you know This is a... It's a good little vehicle. But it's definitely not amazing. De it's not as good as an RCV. If we had an RCV, we would have been much better off. An AML 90, that should be easy meat for me, right? You'd think. There goes the train. Where's this little AML? I'm just trying to hear. <laughs> right, Type 87 just died to BMP. Right. That actually gave me a fright. I should have expected not to hear him, right? This is definitely one of my best games so far. Maybe like three or four kills games before. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done as well as I did. But we did, you know, at least the stuff that happened. There's another plane. Oh, well, GG. Right, we got Fulda. This is one of the reasons, uh, even when I play normally and I only bring one vehicle and a bunch of planes. I don't. If you end up bringing a full lineup, right, they all get crew logged. And you need to wait to get a map that you do like to play. I know that's why most people leave matches, right? And you all complain about it. You all leave after one death. But honestly, who wants to play maps they don't enjoy? No, nobody is the answer. If you don't enjoy playing them. I don't think we're going to do very well here. Not with four eighty GMs that take two hits normally to kill something. Somebody off there in the distance. Don't think I shed it in actually. Ah, oh, yeah, you should definitely fire your machine gun and let them know you're there. Oh, that's unfortunate. The guy was coming out on there all cocky. Who did that? An STB-1. Well, never mind. Maybe next time. A Carnaffin just died over here too. I'm actually just going to drive around here. This guy's still scouted on this side. Yeah. To the map. That MX-30 he's going to hit this dude. I'm trying to hit this guy's ammo actually through his wheel. It's the only way we can really one-shot things, honestly. This is going to be a problem. Huge problem, actually. 
I may not have to deal with it, thankfully. I'm gonna have to help him. Uh oh. No one not. I've actually been pushed by two vehicles. Been a lot of trouble here. A conqueror. Injured in fuel tank out in him. Where did our mans go? This cannon's next to useless, right? Shoot the shit the back of my tank. Okay. That conqueror's still in the fire did he die? In the smoke, sorry. This heavy tank's still bullying our team, right? E10A? He's dead now, yeah? Right. Good. Uh, a BMP-1 just killed our teammate over here. The enemy is sort of semi-safe here is the only thing. I think I hear something below. That guy's dead though, right? This, uh, this is definitely a stressful little tank to use. If I was infantry, I'd be terrified. Right, our teammates have decided to join us. But we still have a lot of enemies coming in. Which is good news. We keep an eye out and see... We got a plane coming in. Something just hit me pretty hard. Oh yeah, I see him. What are you actually? Well, scarier than I thought. Two separate teammates just fired at one guy, right? I tried to scout him, but I didn't push my middle mouse button in hard enough. That one scouted. We got two missiles. That guy's backed off all the way, right? Yeah, we do have thermals though. Let's go target damage, good to know. I can't, is that artillery landing on me or is that somebody actually shooting me directly? Just in your engine noise is giving me the heebie-jeebies, brother. That smoke was pretty weird, right? Please don't hit the fence. Yeah, we're good. Right, my man's has moved out of cover, I think. Nah, he's still there on the death lead. We can still keep him scouted. Quite a, quite a dull place to LS, but we are. And you've just seen how squishy we are. <laughs> you've just seen it. I think it's time to drop Ari on that dude if we can. Yeah, just. Just. There he goes. M48. Hey, we're getting B now. I really don't know what's left. Oh. Still got another one over there. There's someone on C. Or are you saying capture the point? Oh, wait. There was another one down there. Right, he's damaged now too. What a bizarre game, dude. What a bizarre game. This is uh, kind of like the best scenario that can happen to us. We got an RCV in our team. It's a heavy. Here comes a jet. 
That's coming for me. Ideal. Sometimes you just really want to kill somebody, right? I've done this. Honestly, I think I've done it as good as I can do. We can we can certainly push up now. Most of the other guys on the, the A side. Missing a crew member is not ideal, obviously, but... Sheridan just killed our teammate back there. Who I think was the guy that we saw at the very start, by the way. Um, Mikan. No, maybe not. Wait, they're on B. Let's see what we can do in a push, right? It must be the Sheridan. On my way, dude. Luckily, we got thermals. Did he hang around the cap? Yeah, he did. He's actually... He's scouted right now. <laughs> Genuinely thought this guy was scenery. Right, he almost got the cap. Who's the Sheridan at then? He just dropped Daddy on me. I hear him. Oh, we just had enough ammo. Just. But what? What a weird game. Aratel and something else just killed our teammates over there too. Oh, I'd like to get on this cat. Oh. I'm coming. Wolf of Snail Street. Right, more ATGMs and then we push A, right? Oh, vampire's still doing well. I don't want to create a plan, it's just going to take too long. We'll take two, two ATGMs and then we'll move. Oh, we're getting A. There goes an F-84. This is like... I don't know. I, the stress of your ATGMs not doing what they should do. And this cannon being very lackluster. Really, uh really make this not that fun to play for me even the even the other murder is 73 now has been like significantly nerfed with the Milan changes this I mean there's there's a significant number of them still left I see we're doing all right I can't believe that guy uh, duped me though it's almost pretending to be. Uh, a static tank. Can't even pen the front of a BMP, by the way. This AMX. I wish I never repaired them now. <laughs> what is that chattering over there? Is there a tail? Retail. That's not a retail. AMX is behind this house, dude. I need your help. Ow. We bounced that somehow. Thank you. He's still shooting at me. Funny guy. RTV. There he goes. Right, um... That's about that then, right? Surely. That oh, Ratil's still down there. Ratil. But where the hell is he then? There was a Sark here too. There's a medium tank to my left. Ah, Rattel's actually like down the back of the map. 
This guy is very close to me, by the way. This medium thing. It's an aviary. Well, there you go, dude. There you go. So, in my opinion, this tank is crap. Like, it's really bad. It's just another, like, research thing in the way of the Chad Big Light Panzer or TAM. Hey, I suppose it's like a cool addition to the game. Honestly, they should, like, fold it or something. It's just, like, it's not good. You should put the BMP in place of the murder and then fold the two murders together, I think. So, you don't have to research this thing. It's bad. The other thing as well is, like, AO, you've got... This M48 is okay. It's not stabilized. It gets dark, so I suppose it's like kind of balanced. You got the Gepard and the Rocket Panzer hot. It's not a good. <laughs> it's not a good time. There's like plenty of other things like later on that are very good. Like the oh my god, the premium L44. Where's the C2A ones there as well with the M48 Super, the Tam. You've got the other Tam as well now, right? Tam 2 IP. <sighs> Just stands in the way. Just another thing in the way of progress. Poor, poor, poor murder. Anyway, now I've made a video about it, it's spaded, it can get put to bed, we'll never ever play it ever again, it goes to the Debs. You know that show, uh, what was it, Room 101? Yeah, this thing would be going down, this shoot thing. Google it, it's pretty fun. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today's video. If you liked the video, leave a like. Um, Comment down below what you'd like to see next. I think we're doing the Dicker Max tomorrow, which I'm kind of excited about. Not done World War 2 for a wee while, so... That'll be kind of nice. As well, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Seriously, um, there's a lot of people there, which is, like, insane. There's three pages of Patreon supporters, and I don't know if there's another War Thunder content creator, like, that has that much support from their viewership. Thank you, guys. Honestly, it's, like, it's... The difference you guys make to my life is incredible, so thank you very much. Uh, a special thanks to all the TFTB people that get a shout out as well. It's Bilka the Tactical Broccoli, Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Anders Thurmond, Bill Hill, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gateway, Ian, Justin Darlin, Ken the Salt Lord, Mr. J, Ralph, Rige, Stoyan, Tactonic, The Fire Paper, Trash Panda, Eustace Tortilla, Vanian, Warpig, Zema, Yogbo, Shaf, Jesse Bisma, Mortanen, J Tormey, Mr. Buswell, and uh, a new guy, did, uh, Mr. Stuart Netherton. Thank you very much, dude. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye-bye.